Hello there, planning to sit for an IELTS test in December 2023? The overview for the IELTS December 2023 is here. Book ahead and get a head start on your preparation. As always, I just want to make it clear that this is my calculation based on past examinations. Four global test dates are available for this month. December 2nd for both academic and general modules, December 7th for academic module only. December 9th for academic module only and finally December 16th for both academic and general modules. Excitingly, an extra test date might pop up on the official IELTS website. Stay tuned for our prediction videos for each date. Now, let's talk modules. Based on my perspective and analyzing past exams, I recommend the following. Academic module, optimal dates are December 2nd and December 16th. General module, for general test takers to December 2nd and December 16th will be the sweet spot. Now let's start our detailed overview session. The first test date is the 2nd of December 2023. It is available for both academic and general candidates. Overall the level of the test will be easy to moderate for both the modules. So if you plan to give IELTS exam at the earliest you can book this test date. In the listening module you can expect fill up based questions, multiple choice questions, matching information, letter selection along with summary or note completion. The level of listening can be expected as easy. The audio will be neutral and at a normal pace. In the reading module, the academic candidates can expect easy to moderate level passages so concentrate more on form note or summary completion, list of heading, yes no not given, multiple choice questions, matching information and identifying writer's view and opinion type questions. And for IELTS reading, general candidates do focus on fill-up questions, True false not given, which paragraph contains the information, multiple choice questions, and matching, the level of passages for general candidates will also be easy to moderate. Moving on to the writing module in academic candidates in task 1 should concentrate on table bar line and pi, you can also expect a combination of these. And general candidates can expect a formal letter. And for task 2. Focus on opinion type essay. Discuss both views and discussion with opinion type essay. Topics about technology, entertainment, health and culture will be on top of the list. The second test date is the 7th of December 2023. It is available for academic candidates only. Overall the IELTS exam on the 7th of December 2023 will be moderate. In the listening module, you can expect British or Australian accent audio, especially in Part 1 and Part 3. Practice fill-up questions, multiple choice questions, selection of letters and summary or note completion. Overall the difficulty level for listening can be expected from easy to moderate. In the reading module you should expect MCQ, true false not given which paragraph contains the information, sentence or summary completion, matching information or table completion along with short answer questions. Overall reading can be expected of moderate level. Practice Cambridge books especially for passages 2 and 3. Turning to the writing module, for task 1 concentrate on bar, line, table and process diagram and for task 2 focus on opinion type essay two-part questions, advantages outweigh the disadvantages in discussion essay. The third test date is the 9th of December 2023. It is again available for academic candidates only. The overall IELTS exam for this date will be moderate. In the listening module, you can expect a range of different accents like British, American, Canadian, and Australian. You should focus on fill-up questions, map plan or diagram labeling, multiple-choice questions, selection of letters, 
matching information and summary or note completion. Overall listening will be seen as easy to moderate. Moving on to the reading module you should expect, true-false not given, matching information like list of heading in which paragraph contains the information type questions, list selection, MCQ, and note completion. Overall reading can be expected from moderate level to a bit difficult, practice Cambridge books they will be very helpful. And in writing task 1, the candidates should focus on bar, table, line, and then process diagram. You can also expect a combination of these. And in task 2 concentrate on discuss both views, discuss with opinion essay, agree or disagree in positive or negative development type essays. The last test date is the 16th of December 2023. It is available for both academic and general candidates. Overall the test will be easy to moderate for both the modules. Hence it is an optimal test date for either module. Candidates as per my experience should book this test date. Coming to the listening module you can expect form or notes completion, multiple choice questions, pick from list, matching, summary and sentence completion. Hence you can expect more fill up questions on this test date. Overall listening can be expected easy. In the reading module academic candidates can expect easy to moderate passages and concentrate on fill ups, short answer questions, yes no not given, matching, identifying writer's opinion and summary, note or sentence completion type questions. For general candidates reading module will also be easy to moderate so focus on fill-ups, true-false not given, MCQ matching information to paragraphs, choose a title along with summary completion. Moving on to the writing module academic candidates in task 1 should focus on table, bar, pie, and line. And for general candidates, it will be an informal letter. However, as we suggest at a global level formal letter should also be taken into consideration. Coming to writing task 2, prepare well for agree or disagree, discussion with opinion essay, two-question essay or direct essay and problem solution type essay. These are categories you need to focus on. Wishing you the utmost success in your IELTS journey. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video do hit the like button and subscribe for more insights.